guys and welcome to my channel or back to my channel if you've never been here before my name is Jenna and um, I work at American Eagles so I have a huge haul of clothing that I have bought I did not buy this all in like a week or anything it's been probably like two months that I've been collecting all this stuff so it is a huge haul I also have some things that are not American Eagle so I will show you those as well if you hear things in the background, my cat is hanging out with me. Um, she's currently under my camera tripod, so you might hear those things. Also, if my hair looks greasy, it's not. I just got out of the shower about an hour ago and then set all this stuff up and got ready because I'm going straight to class after I film this video. Thanks, Pumbaa. She's gonna be like our Foley artist today. I do wanna say, since I do work at American Eagle, I get an amazing employee discount. It's normally around 40%, but when a new collection of clothes, when we do something called a floor set comes out, we do get um, 10 items for 60% off. And I, this stuff is from two floor sets. So again, two months. And also I tend not to buy things on my 60% off. I kind of give myself this, if it goes to clearance and I like it, then it was meant to be, and then it's 60% off and I'm getting an extra 25, so I get things for really cheap. Um, also, um, American Eagle launched this program for employees called Real Rewards, and through that we get free stuff for doing well at our job. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. So I think to begin, I'm gonna talk about things that aren't technically American Eagle. Um, I got some things at Airy, which is our sister store, a woman's store. So the first thing I got, I am super obsessed with, actually just got these stuff this week. But first thing is this black Sherpa like quarter zip. It doesn't have a zipper, it has buttons, but it's the same kind of style and it goes pretty long. It is oversized and super comfy. Airy stuff, um, Sherpa is so nice. It's so soft because they do do the comfort wear. I just like, I can't get over how soft this is. Sorry, it is covered in hair. That's the only problem with Sherpa is it collects hair and I have a cat, a dog, and a rabbit. So it is covered in all of that hair plus mine. But I just think this is super cute and it just looks really good with anything. It's super warm. I live in Canada. I'm actually like, I can look outside right now and see a foot of snow. And it is uh, November 13th. So, it's cold. It's negative 10 this morning when I checked. So yeah, um, I really love this. I'm gonna wear it all the time. I think I could just throw it on top of everything. I've already worn it to work once and it was so comfortable. Another girl at my work actually got it as well. Um, next thing from Aerie, I kind of, I got these two things as a s set. They do come separately, but I really liked them. I really needed, need PJs like sets because I tend to wear oversized t-shirts all the time and just like wear them as a dress to sleep. So I just wanted to get like a nice set also because I've been told that we at work we might have like a spirit day where we get to wear our pajamas and stuff. And I wanted something nice and something current to wear and these were 40% off with my discount. So I really like them. First is this oversized, huge, like huge cropped t-shirt. In retrospect, I should have sized down in this but I'm not going to because it's comfortable. But it just says Aries right here. And then along the neck, it has um, a little bit of distressing. I really like it because, well, obviously I'm an Aries if I'm buying a shirt that says Aries. They have a whole line of um, astrology t-shirts um, and they're all different. And I actually think it's, I don't like, I don't necessarily believe that through the stars that were there when you were born, you, can know about somebody's life and what's gonna happen and their personality. But this fits me so well, it's just plain, it's not fully white, it's cream. And then in like a pinky beige um, font and color, it says Aries with the constellation on top. And then on the back, just in silver, it has the Aries symbol. So that's very me, it is a style I'm gonna wear. And I just think it's really funny that it's like that. To go with it, I got these um, plush pajama pants. They're long, they're kind of like a fleece, 
material. They do have pockets, which is awesome. And then they have polar bears wearing little hats on them. Again, I got these a size up just so that they're comfortable and I can be nice sleeping in them. So before we get fully into the American Eagle clothing, I want to show you guys first stuff, a couple items that I didn't get on American Eagle, and then I'm going to go into like accessories and stuff and some makeup that I bought at the Sephora VIB sale, and then we'll get into all the American Eagle that is sitting around me. So the first item I got at Winners and it's just this sweater. It is like semi-cropped. It has the balloon sleeves that are so in this season, and it's just gray with pink and cream and like a burgundy stripe on it. This shirt, I wore it to work and I got so many compliments on it. And I absolutely adore it. When I showed it to my mom, she loved it as well. It's by the brand Vero Moda. So I've never heard of it, but I really like it. It's super soft. It's not, and it's nice and thick, which is nice. Again, I live in Canada, so that is awesome. Um, I did get another thing at Winners at the same time. And <laughs> funnily enough, it is American Eagle. This long sleeve t-shirt that's a burnt orange color with white a white floral pattern all over it. And it's kind of a scoop neck with a high-low and then buttons going down the front. I really like it. The material is our old material. It's what we call the soft and sexy, so it clings in all the right places and flows in all the right places. It's kind of like a heavier material, so it just it falls in all the right ways. And I really, really love this item. The last clothing piece that isn't from American Eagle is another Sherpa jacket. This one's actually from Costco, which is awesome. My mom got the beige one and I got the black. Um, they do fit super small so I ended up having to get an extra large but it's just black Sherpa jacket. It's a nice short Sherpa so it's not like the super fuzzy stuff and yeah it just looks it's like a fleece cut but with Sherpa material or a thicker fleece if you want to say it that way and I think it's really cute just to throw on top of anything when you're heading out of the house and I can use it as a nice, I would say fall jacket, but fall, we didn't really have a fall this year. It is now winter. So again, next I have some accessories. So the first stuff I'm gonna show you, I got three items at the um, Sephora VIB sale. I don't know if I'm gonna keep all this stuff or if so, what I'm gonna keep. Um, probably the lip gloss that I'm gonna show you first, um, just because I, Bought it when it was 15% off, I had a $50 gift card, and I still spent $80, so I'm feeling kind of bad about that, and we'll see what I'm gonna keep. The first thing is I got an Anastasia lip gloss in the color Venus. It's just a clear, sparkly lip gloss, and I wanted one, and my friend Liv has this, or has used an Anastasia lip glosses, and she really liked them, so I'm gonna give that a try, because it's a nice everyday lip gloss. The next thing I got is the Morphe X Jeffree Star brush collection. It does come in this really cute baggie. And then all the brushes are in here and I really like like the colors of them. And they're all eye brushes. I really like doing eye makeup and I find mush brushes are too big and I really like that he made a collection of like micro brushes. Because I think for details and stuff that makes it really really easy. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I might give it to myself for Christmas or something, but we'll see. The next and last thing I got from Sephora is the Kat Von D Lolita Pure Vita um, palette. I probably pronounced that wrong, really wrong. I'm so sorry. But it's just all like neutral purpley pink and orange tones, which is what I use every day. And I thought this was great. The next items are, you can hear one of them are accessories from American Eagle that I picked up for the winter season. Accessories from American Eagle are already cheap, so with my 40% off, it made them real cheap. Um, first thing I got were these two scrunchies. They're a velvet material, and then they just have bells on them, which I think is pretty awesome. I can hear my rabbit responding to the sound upstairs because she likes bells, um, like balls with bells in them. But it just came with a really nice winter green one and a red one and I just think they'll be fun to wear for like Black Friday and stuff and into the Christmas season to have some Christmas joy at work 
and maybe with a couple of the items, clothing items that I bought. I think these will be cute. I know the bells are gonna annoy me, but my hope is that once they're like in your hair, um, either your hair is gonna get caught and I'll never wear them again, or it will silence the bells and that would be pretty awesome. The next thing I got is this pair of socks. It just has slots on them and then at the bottom it says, don't hurry, be happy. I really like them. I don't have too, too many long socks, but I, I think I said this in my last, in my back to school haul video. Um, which if you haven't watched, go watch it. It'll be right here. Go see it. I worked hard on it. But um, I like fun socks. I think that life is too short to not wear fun socks. So these are pretty awesome. I also like to wear socks and sandals, especially to work. Um, my past two jobs were in food service and I had to wear non-slip, closed toed shoes, you know, couldn't be really be cute. But now I can and I like to, I guess socks and sandals isn't all that cute. But anyways, <laughs> I bought these. Um, I also have a sloth tattoo on my ankle. So sloth Christmas socks just makes a lot of sense to me. And the last pair of socks that I got and the last accessory that I got before we get into the mess of American Eagle clothing in front of me are these. They are one of our new winter socks. I just, I love the pattern and you're gonna see later I did buy the matching sweater to go with them. So, and they're also the softest thing I've ever felt. Like they're so plush. I absolutely love them. Um, and again, socks and sandals with like a pair of leggings or a black pair of jeans and then the matching sweater, I think would be a super cute look. So since I just mentioned that sweater, I think it's only obvious that I should show it first and then I'll show the new collection and then older stuff that I got. So this is part of our brand new collection that came out about it's Wednesday, to, so a week and a half ago. And it's just this really awesome thick sweater. Again, it has those bell sleeves that I've already showed you on that um, sweater that I got at Winners. It's in, but I have been looking for a sweater like this for years. I have gone to like value village searching for something in like a pattern i just wanted a sweater that makes it look like i'm in the swiss alps and i think this perfectly shows that on it looks amazing and it just really could not be better all right so the next sweater i got that's part of the new collection is honestly the same plush material as the socks that i got it's really hard to say because like you can't feel it, but it's the softest thing I have ever felt. It is so nice. I'm calling this my Dory sweater because uh, it reminds me of Dory or like the angelfish that's in Nemo's tank. But I literally think if I like painted my skin on my hands yellow, I would be Dory. But it's just like this navy blue with three white stripes across it. It is oversized, so it's pretty big um, and I really like it. I'm gonna wear it a lot because I, I didn't wear jeans before I worked at American Eagle, but my favorite pair of jeans, which you're gonna see in the try-on portions, I wear the every day and I think would go really good with that. This next sweater, when I say that I saw it and knew it had to be mine, I am not kidding, like at all. I showed it to my mom after I bought it because right now my parents, when I'm filming this, this, my parents are in Venice. I showed her like my mini, like a mini haul of all the things. Cause I got this stuff, um, like the socks, the scrunchie, and then these three sweaters all at once. Oh, and one more item that you'll see later, but I got these. Not the point, it's this sweater. It's just kind of like semi-cropped and then it has all these beautiful stripes. There's also a cream version of it, but it does not, does not strike me the way that this green one does. And again, it's a super, super soft knit. I absolutely adore it. I think it looks so cute on and it is mine. The fourth shirt that I got with those guys, that's going to go into like my next section, which is all flannels. Um, it's not actually flannel. Everyone at my work is kind of calling it like a dad shirt. It's really soft, but it's more of a regular dress shirt material. But again, it's super oversized, like very oversized. It has the bat sleeves here, which I think is super cute. And it's just a really nice green plaid with navy and red on it. And I just think like French tucked into a shirt since it is oversized would look really cute and like 
90s, comfortable, and I've wanted a shirt, like a dad shirt for a while. So here's one that I've got now. Um, the next couple like flannels that I have are all the same style. I just bought three of them because I absolutely adore them. Um, the first two I did get on my 60% off. Um, so the, I got this one, which is a red with orange and navy plaid on, like micro plaid on it. They are cropped flannels with these beautiful big buttons. And I absolutely adore this. I have worn it so many times. It is a very soft flannel. I just, I can't get over how much I love this top. It's again another one of those items that when I saw it I knew I had to have it and because I work at a clothing store I'm trying really hard to only buy things when I have that I have to have it feeling. The next I flannel is again the same one so I'm just going to show it really quick but it's just a green version with bigger plaid on it and the last flannel like that is actually the first one I got. This one doesn't have the super big buttons but again it is cut from the exact same pattern and it's just this like it's not gray, but it's like a cream. And it has like a houndstooth plaid pattern on it. This one is more of the shirt material, like that green shirt I showed you before the flannels. Um, it is from the back to school line, so it's lighter, but it is still the crop, still love it. This one, I, when I got it, I wore it and met my mom at Ikea actually during my um, week in life at a university student video. And when she saw me, she's like, oh my God, that is so cute. I love it. So that's awesome. The last flannel I got, this one's just like an oversized flannel. Um, we had these come in for back to school and then I got it when it went to 60% off. So I'm really happy about that. And it's just like this blue with green and red. Those are the colors of the season. And then it has balloon sleeves, like the sweaters I was showing you. And then it just has a tie at the bottom. Obviously you can undo the tie, but even like online we showed it like that. We sold them like that and I think it looks really cute with the tie. I don't usually wear flannels done up until now, but I just think that with the tie, you can do that. The next shirt that I got, I did buy this again when it went to clearance. Uh, I have it in a blush pink as well, but it's just this guy. The color's technically called natural, but it's like a cheetah print because it's not leopard, but it is a cheetah. It's beige with like uneven black spots. And then it's semi-cropped with like a wavy bottom and buttons down the center. My pink one, I had to sew all the buttons and the opening shut because this one doesn't do it as much, but still this between button splays when it's on my body and stuff. So I'm gonna have to do that to this one as well, but I'm super happy that I bought it. The next thing is again, Sherpa. This is a cropped quarter zip sweater and it's just like this purple Sherpa. I wanted to buy this and use one of my 60% offs and I thought it was gonna sell out. I mean, it, in the end it did, um, but then we got it in clearance and we only had two of them and they were large and extra large, so I tried them on um, and the large was amazing fit. So I bought it and I absolutely adore it. Mom, probably seeing this video, you're finding out for the first time that I bought this. I'm sorry, you told me not to when, it was, like, when I was just gonna buy it, but it was dirt cheap. I think it was like $11 in the end, so can't beat that. The next and last Sherpa item that I got, can you tell that I like Sherpa? Is just this jacket. It is a Sherpa jacket. It is a thicker, it's not a soft. It's like the Sherpa at other, every other store where it's kind of rough. It's very structured, it's very stiff, but it's just this leopard print Sherpa jacket. It's just like the traditional style that Sherpa jackets come in. I'm gonna be honest, I had no interest in buying this when I first saw it, but when it went to clearance, I couldn't say no. I can just throw on top of any black outfit. If I'm like going downtown for drinks with my friends, I can throw this on. I know leopard isn't like the most versatile um, pattern, but I adore it. I'm gonna wear it and I think it's really cute. The next thing, <laughs> again, is has an animal on it, but I had to get it. It's like an oversized sweater. It was an online exclusive that somebody returned and when they returned it, I knew I had to buy it. Like I did the return and I literally put it off to the side. Everyone does that. Don't come after me, people on the internet. That I should put it out on the floor. I'm sorry. It's just what people at my store do. If somebody returns something that they like, if it's an online exclusive or from Arian, it gets returned to American Eagle or obviously if it's an older item, we automatically put it in clearance. So it automatically goes 60% off even if it's 
full price online and then I get my 25% off on it. And it was a medium, so <laughs> I bought it and it has just this white tiger with blue eyes. And I just think it looks like those thrifted shirts that everyone gets and I get that I should go and thrift, but at the same time, it got this for like $10, if not maybe less, and I absolutely adore it. Going into my last few items are all sweaters. I got this guy a long time ago. This was not the floor set that happened a week and a half ago, but over a month ago. Um, this went to clearance. It was part of our back to school line. It is a cropped sweater. It is, it's not very soft, it is quite stiff, but I just love the Henley on it and the colors are like my absolute favorite color of yellow. I wear a lot of it. I think one item went missing. How is that possible? Oh, I'm sitting on it. Again, another situation like with the uh, tiger sweater happened where somebody returned something and I wanted it, so I bought it. It is in an, oh, this is just a large. We're good. Um, I thought it was an extra large. I should have got a medium in this because it's too big, but I'll still make it work, you know? But it's the same sweater that you just saw, but it's an online exclusive version of it where it just has a really nice like winter knit pattern on it. And again, the Henley and it's cropped, but I just thought it was would be super cute with a pair of high to pants and like dark burgundy lip at Christmas time. I've already worn it to work once and I really like it. Another shirt that I got is just this one. I, on the last floor set that just happened a week and a half ago, it did go clearance. So I got it. I have like nothing that's like winter appropriate for going out or like hanging out with friends and or like going out for dinner and stuff. Um, as you see from everything else I'm buying. Um, well, I guess some of this is a little more fancy than I normally wear, but I wear Disney spirit jerseys like every day and Sherpa sweaters and a Ripley's believe it or not hoodie and that's what I wear. So I just wanted a nice top. I did have to buy an extra large because we didn't have a regular large but it's just like this flowy uh, blouse that's cropped and the buttons down the front and it has a v-neck and I think it's really cute. It is also quite thin like it's next to see-through so I think that I could still, when I, I'm going to Disney in February, so on colder nights and stuff, like if we, when we go for like dinner to the Polynesian or something, I can pair that with like a really cute like denim skirt or something and that would be still an appropriate thing to wear. The next item that I got, again, went to clearance. So it was 60% off plus my 25% off. So dirt cheap is just this sweater. It is a cranberry color with a stripe down the middle. This is like the American th Eagle thing right now is to put like stripes down the middle like this. We have hoodies with a rain, like different colored stripes, like a rainbow one is the most popular. We have crew necks, we have sweaters, like my uh, blue one that you saw earlier. They have that like in different prints, but I really liked this one. Everyone got the version of this that was completely cream where the red was, but I think this cranberry color is really pretty and I love it with a pair of jeans. So again, wore this already and I just bought it this week. So that's pretty awesome. And then another sweater that I got, I got this one a while ago, so I've worn it so many times. It's just this oversized black, um, it's not a full turtleneck, it's more of a mock neck sweater. And it's just absolutely amazing. Again, it's a heavy knit, so it flows super nicely um when and if these reach clearance there's also a brown version a multicolored one and a baby blue i want to pick up the baby blue if not another one of the black ones because i want to wear this every day of my life and my last item of this entire haul is the item that i was telling you about i used points to get through um my employee points and i got just this Scarf that's salmon, blue, and navy. I thought it was cute. I really liked it. I actually dressed a mannequin with it, and that's why I wanted it. I had to get something that was $30 for my points, and it was the last day before our points were expire. So I just picked this up. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I am currently working on a lot of Disney videos. I'm getting those up at five o'clock every Tuesday, as long as I have something to upload. My last trip was very short, so those are gonna end and then it's gonna be all sit down videos. Um, so follow me through my journey of expanding my YouTube channel, please. I wanna grow this channel. Uh, also, I'll be making more Disney College program content. The second I get 
either a no, I'll make a video, or if I'm going towards an interview, I will make a video about receiving my interview offer. And then in January, when interviews most likely are gonna be, I'll travel to Montreal, bring you guys with me, vlog that entire thing. And then in February, I'm going to Disney again, and Disney vlogs will start up again there. Please subscribe down below and like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I just had to show how Pumba has been sitting the entire time I was filming. I was filming on the couch right there. She's been sitting right there patiently watching. Haven't you girly girl? Yeah. She's such a good girl. I love my pets. <laughs>